Catherine Proproki and Maria Silva in the women's strawweight division. Uh, both of them are, are very, very solid strikers. Maria Silva has very good kickboxing, uh, really good jabs, one twos. Catherine Proproki also has really good kickboxing, jabs, one twos. The striking is going to be very, very even. I'm really not too sure who's going to be having the advantage in that part of the game because Maria Silva has not had a fight in the last two years, whereas Catherine has fought only three months ago. So the striking, I'm getting, I'm getting a little worried because I don't know how good Maria Silva's striking has improved in the last couple of years. But either way, I do think the striking is going to be very, very even. It really is going to come down to who can implement the grappling and wrestling a little bit better. Catherine Broproki and Maria Silva both have blue belts in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so they're both very, very well versed in the grappling and wrestling game. Uh, out of her three wins, she's got two decision wins over zero and zero fighters, one submission loss, and then one submission win right there. Um, they're pretty good grappling. I mean, she showed some really, really solid submission skills in her last fight. Maria Silva, pretty much all of those wins at being finishes, uh, except for one right there. First round knockout, first round submission, first round guillotine, and then a first round knockout right there. So she, she, she has the knockout power in her hands, and she also has a submission, um, the submission threat on the ground as well. But Catherine Proproki and Maria Silva, the grappling is going to be very even. The, the striking is going to be very even, but the wrestling is where I really want to look at the fight because Catherine Proproki, I don't know if her wrestling is as good as Mario Silva. Mario Silva really loves to get your back to the cage, get the body lock, trip you down, uh, and then just start grinding upon the heck out of you. If she can just do that, take down Catherine Proproki, Catherine is like, all right, I'm just going to start looking for submissions. If she's not able to land that submission on Maria Silva, Maria is just going to keep on Garana pounding on top, and that could be a way for Maria Silva to get a decision win, as well as Catherine Proproki is taking this fight on short notice, um, so that could limit her in the cardio department of the fight, um, but Maria, Maria Silva, I believe, she's going to have the cardio advantage as it is a short notice fight, and she's going to have the wrestling advantage with the grappling and striking being very, very even, but the wrestling, I think she's going to be able to take down Catherine Proki um, and Garana pound her to a decision right here. The striking, I, I really think the volume is going to be even. The, the power in which they're laying that volume is going to be even. The jujitsu is going to be even. It's really just going to be how well can Maria Silva land the takedowns and control Catherine Proki on the ground, which I think she'll do a very, very good job of. So right now, um, the betting odds, minus 175. I definitely agree with that. Maria Silva should be right around where she is. Um, if you look at the prop bets right here, I don't know what's up with the prop bets, minus 10,000 but um, hopefully we can get some odds in the next couple of days. But overall, Catherine Proproki and Maria Silva. My prediction is Maria Silva winning that fight uh, by a 29-28 decision. I can see one of the rounds just because of how tough Catherine Proproki is and the fact that she really loves to put pressure in the striking. Maybe she can use that to win one of the rounds, but the other two rounds, at least, Maria Silva will be able to win using the wrestling and ground pound. So this fight in the women's strawweight division goes Maria Silva by unanimous decision. Really good fight in the women's strawweight division right there.